sua trucha. never meant anything to me, and they don't know now. Now, we find ourselves in the United States under policies that are brutal, that are ignorant, that are absolute Having been born on the border, and the border, I am heir to two nurses who speak two different languages, Spanish and English. And I do not have to choose one over the other. The muses always grant me the favors in the two tongues. So 95.9% .9 of the things I write, I write in both Spanish and English. So. Se me pidió como poeta laureado de la ciudad que recite un poema sobre los niños, las niñas, madres, padres, separados, encarcelados, enjaulados, torturados en centros de concentración en la frontera del sur. ¿Cómo poner en canto? El sufrir, el llanto, el terror, el espanto de los niños arrebatados de los brazos de sus madres, sus padres. Por manos bruscas, en voces rudas, en lengua que no comprende. ¿Cómo decir? Si dormir de pesadillas, exhaustos de llorar, no envueltos en comida de algodón, lana, oliendo a consuelo, sino en mantas isométricas, metálicas y frías, en el suelo de una jaula. ¿Cómo cantar las muertes? ¿Cómo cantar la angustia de las madres, los padres, por sus hijitos, sus hijitas? ¿Cómo gritar el dolor y la rabia? Protestar la crueldad de los canallas en la Casa Blanca, el Congreso, la Corte Suprema del país. Como y en las musas. Aquí, los límites de la poesía. Solo servirá la resistencia. Revolución. Esta será nuestro poema. No hay otro. I am asked, as foreign lawyer to the city, to recite a poem on the children, mothers, fathers, separated, jailed, caged, tortured, in concentration camps on the southern border. How to bring the song, the suffering, the cries, the terror, the fright of the children snatched from their mothers, their father's songs, by rough hands, in harsh voices, they do not understand. How to tell their sleep of 
nightmares, exhausted by crying, not wrapped in blankets of cotton and wool, smelling of comfort, but in space blankets, metallic and cold on the floor of a cage. How to sing the dance? How to sing the anguish of the mothers, the fathers, for the little sons, little daughters? I'll cry the pain and rage, protest the cruelty of the villains in the White House, the Congress, the Supreme Court, and the Army. The muses go mute. Here, the limits of poetry. Only a resistance will do. Revolution. That's what I'm saying. That will be a poem. There is no other. And indeed, my brothers and sisters, now is the time for revolution. Not tomorrow, because the future is now. And I do not refer to the revolution of arms because it's struck, because the stomach was heaven all. It is a revolution that must go much, much deeper than that into the roots of our hearts, into the roots of our consciousness. And a revolution must be a meaningful revolution that changes the culture. We are suffering the immigrants who have to leave their countries because of the our countries have been destroyed by U.S. policy for the economics of empire. And I will be very clear to you, capitalism. Capitalism has to come down because the earth cannot sustain it. Capitalism depends upon two things. An unbridled rape of the earth for raw resources to be turned into consumable products, but slave labor for the profit of a few. The earth and we cannot sustain it. So I call upon everyone within the range of hearing to commit yourselves to the revolution that we must carry on now.